Hi Felters, today we're going to learn how to make horns with wire without wire and clay and it can be used for cows, sheep, goats, deers, unicorns, dragons. If it's got horns we can make it and these are some of the things we're going to make and some of the things we need for today. So first off we're going to make some horns without wire but I use a piece of wire to make them straight and it really helps and you pull it out afterwards. So I take some carded wool, this first one is with some carded wools, hold on to the end and start wrapping it round. And you can see that the carded wool, I've pulled it out and made it quite thin, it just makes it easier to apply it as, as sort of as flat as you can. Um, and just keep wrapping and keep holding on to that end bit tightly. Later on I'll be using some roving or tops, so I do a video on different types of wools if you're a bit confused about what's what. So here we go, speed it up a bit because you don't need to see it all. Um, keep wrapping all the way to the end and then I go back on myself with this one, you don't have to. And the horns can be slightly thicker in the middle and thinner at the ends. So there we go and as you get to the end if you've got too much just gently pull it off and then wrap the end bit. And then take your needle and we're going to start felting. So we're rolling and felting as we go so that we gently secure all the sides. So here we are a little bit more close up. I needle felt at a bit of an angle instead of going straight down and through because sometimes you can felt bits out the other side. It's not always possible but I try and do it at an angle. And then when you're sort of happy it's secure-ish, pull gently pull the wire out and then you can felt some more and you've got no fear of hitting the wire now. When you do the ends, just turn over the ends. Don't try and get a sharp point unless you want to, but it's really tricky. So I just turn the very end bit in and then keep needle felting until you're happy that it's fairly firm. And so with these horns, oh yeah, the best bit roll between the hands. This is the magic bit. It helps smooth all the bits down. And there we go. I'm just doing that end bit again. I wasn't happy with it. And so they, they can sort of bend into a, a hornish shape position, but you can't do too much with them. This one, pipe cleaners. So I'm going to do some dark horns here, as if it was for a goat or a sheep. So take a pipe cleaner, and you're going to do the horns either side, so cut it to the length you need it. And then same thing. And it's so much easier with the pipe cleaner. It, you can secure the end so you can actually let go of it when you're doing this, and it, it does make it a lot easier. So keep twisting all the way around, nice and thin. If it breaks off, that's fine. Rather have too little than too much. And then just keep twisting. The only thing with the pipe cleaners are the end bits. Um, you've got to try and make sure that the sharp wire is not sticking out. So there we go. I have done it all and just started needle felting. You know, you don't really hit the wire badly. It's not a problem. So just needle felt it all the way along and make it neat. And then again, once you've done it for quite a while, uh, roll it between your hands and then check the ends just to make sure that they're not sharp. And then these are really good because you bend it in the middle, that's where you detach it to the head. And there you go, you've got a set of horns and they're really good. You could change them to whatever shape you want. So this, just to show you how you can get a much nicer effect, this is a mixed roving tops or world. So it's got mixed colors. And I think it works really well. It's much easier to get this nice and flat. And once you've rolled it all on, it, it practically stays there itself. But I do needle felt it a bit just to make sure that it is secure. And again, it broke off halfway through. That's not a problem. Just wrap all those bits round. Start again. It's not, it doesn't show that, you, that it's broken. So just keep wrapping it all the way round. Get to the end the ends I've just got to sort out and then um, it's nice and smooth already but just needle felt it a bit to make sure it's secure and as you see some bits that have come out the other side when you do it like this because it's quite tricky to do this one at an angle um, but again once you smooth it there was a bump in the middle so I had to get that bit but once you smooth it out all the um, fluffy bits sort of disappear and again I'm folding the ends in just to make it lovely but it just gives because it's um, a mixture of colors just gives a really nice effect especially if it was like a goat or a sheep's horns mm. 
There we go, magic roll. And same thing, you can just, oh yeah, trim off the end bits. And you can just bend them round um, and you detach it in the middle. There you go, or you can have it a completely different shape. It's up to you. So they're really, really good. Good effect, that one. And then now we move on to the clay horns. I do have to show you this in a bit more detail. I can't speed it up loads because I have to talk you through it. Um, so those were the Highland Cows and that's the sheep I did. They're nice and firm. So take, oh, this is my Valet Black Nose sheep horns that I do and they're really twisty curly, but these are what we're going to be doing. And that's a piece of wire. We're going to make the other piece of wire and then we're going to take the Fimo clay and put it on there. So I use a one mil craft wire, which is quite thick, but not too thick so I can bend it, fold it in half. Flat nose pliers give you the really flat end easily, makes a difference. Some of these tools I've listed down below in the comments. And then you're going to do the right angle bend and then I just cut off the excess so it matches the other one. Rather than measuring it out and trying to get it exact, you know, it's far easier to just cut, up, cut off the end bit. There we go. So the rounded end is the part that's going to go into the head in a bit. So get the, uh, this is Fimo clay. So get two pieces. If they start the same size, then the horns should be the same size. Roll them out between your hands. You don't have to do it much. And then flatten off one end and then make the other end pointed for the horn bit. Now this I take, it's just a little tool that came with the clay and it had ridges. So you could use anything like a fork or just a little tiny mm, knife or something. Um, and you can make the ridges quite easily. And then once it's done, gently push it through the middle of the clay. It only goes in about halfway. Make sure it's not poked through. And then that's a simple horn, but my valets I have to really twist them round. So you can do all sorts of shapes and I think they're really quite effective. And then we'll do the other one. So as I was saying, the rounded end part I put into the head of the animals because um, it's easier to get into the needle felt. Otherwise, the sharp bits sort of block it as you put it in. So there's this one, put it in done the ridges and then give it a twist make sure they're the right way that they're a matching pair and then what I do with the Fimo clay is I normally pop it in the oven there lovely I normally pop it in the oven for about 50 minutes so it's really really hard or you can air dry it for a couple of days um, and it will gradually go hard so and that's how um, they end up so it's really easy if you don't want to be putting the wire in you can actually make the wire part of the wire armature and I did this with the unicorn because I wanted it really secure so I left a wire sticking out and then I did two bits of Fimo put it on took it off put it in the oven and then glued it on so that worked I do a wire armature video as well so to see how you attach horns you can look at my valet black nose sheep full tutorial the herdwick sheep the grey felted cow or animal faces so thanks for watching and I hope you've enjoyed it and learnt something the next video I'm going to be doing is attaching furs do subscribe like comment if you enjoyed it and happy felting see you again soon guys thanks